Hi, it's Eliana. So today I am remote viewing the man behind the change. This remote viewing had been done on August the 14th, 2024. This man has appeared in another remote viewing from the past, recent remote viewing that was done with David Powell about the Black Operations Group and what that group does. This man appeared to be some kind of either a spiritual leader, negotiator, mediator type. So I wanted to remote view him a little closer. I have an image of what he looks like in color and as well as sketch images of his appearance. So I wanted to see on a deeper level what this man is like, what he does, what his job responsibilities are, who is he? Not in terms of the name, first name or last name, just what is his connection to disclosure? What is his role as a mediator? What groups he mediates? What does he do specifically? What is that that he's holding in his hand? Where is he sitting? Why is he in that location? Those types of things. I wanted more clarity on that. So what I did is I printed out all four images that I have of this person. The color image and the sketches I had done of him. And I went and started probing him as a person, so probing into him, probing into the activities he's involved with, probing where he's sitting, what he's doing. So I was looking at all those things to just check what, this, what the situation is, where he is and what he's doing, as that is what I had to work with for this particular remote viewing. And I did find out some interesting things, so I'm going to go over the results of this remote viewing. This, indi this individual, who is a leader and a mediator, keeps showing up through various telepathic holographic interfaces, is looking to find proactive solutions to solve the world's problems. The man walks between two worlds. He understands life and death well and how both work. On the soul level, this person is part of human businesses, yet also part of the behind-the-scenes operations in closed-door departments dealing with off-world operations of recovering technologies made by beings not living on Earth, including gravitic crafts, teleportation technology, psionic holographic interface systems, etc. The male individual has a dual identity and seems to do mediation between, between various factions on the planet. This includes mediation and negotiation between the human factions as well as the extraterrestrials with humans. Then just negotiator talks between the ET groups to find acceptable outcomes for diplomatic resolutions on life issues on Earth and off-world. So there are extraterrestrials here on the planet on Earth and they've had mediation talks and meetings with human governments. Humans that are mediators, negotiators who are not the government per se, but do represent something of human nature on this planet that have the ability to negotiate with extraterrestrials for whatever resolutions, diplomatic resolutions are needed between humans and extraterrestrials. And this could be different type of extraterrestrials, Pleiadians, Andromedans, insectoid beings or reptilians, Syrians, and other beings, or even groups of Humanoid, humanoid ETs that have been on this planet before, like the Mayans, who are back. So sometimes mediation is needed between these groups who 
e either visit this planet or actually extraterrestrials can live on this planet in the oceans and the mountains in isolated regions where humans are not encroaching on their space or they look like us because a lot of extraterrestrials are humanoid. There's also portal travel and other ways of multidimensional travel beyond the speed of light, time travel. There's so many ways to travel to Earth and off world. So these groups can come and go unnoticed, but certain mediation human groups know about them and they can mediate between humans and ETs and work things out as needed. The timelines are shifting and we are here to create a positive world. The man is sitting in an echo isolation chamber ho holding a time shift viewing sphere device that is made of prismatic glass like material that can view different timelines and future events happening on Earth as well as on other planets. This is the time of making good changes and decisions on free world planets. It is the time of positive polarity convergence. So uh, as I was remote viewing this individual, I guess I was sort of connecting to him and what he was showing me and what I was remote viewing at the same time. So it was kind of a interaction with him on a prolific mind connection. This person feels prolific to me. He is not about taking sides. He is not about deciding what's right and wrong. He is neutral space. He holds neutral space. He doesn't play favorites. He does what is best for all sides concerned during mediation and negotiation to be fair, to not just pick a side and go with an outcome. He looks at everything that's on the table at all the issues and tries to find the best resolution that will work for everybody involved, human and non-human or human with human, human with extraterrestrials or humans with humans. Because he, he's part of those types of meetings. So he's looking for po positive polarity convergence for outcomes. This is the process of so basically, according to him, this is the process of stopping the unearthly saboteurs that had tried to interfere with Earth's free, free will remodeling project. Was, again, to me, like this, this is the process of stopping the unearthly saboteurs that had tried to interfere with Earth's, Earth's free will remodeling project. What is the free will remodeling project? Is it like us discovering that we have free will choice to govern our, to govern ourselves, not somebody behind the scenes in the shadows governing, governing us, we as the people can govern? Is that it or what? The truth coming out, what unearthly saboteurs were there that tried to interfere with Earth's free will remodeling pro project? stopping those saboteurs because there are some saboteurs who are of earth origins and some not of earth origins there's been sabotage of earthly business on all sides not just humans not just ets like earth's history is huge of, of what's been happening that needs disclosure so this is interesting Create new disclosure laws revealing the truth about the off-world projects and activities like extraterrestrial contacts with humanoid governan governance systems on Earth, trade deals, space travel beyond Earth orbital space platforms, beyond the speed of light space travel, planetary colonization of planetary systems, inhabitable zone planets beyond the Earth planetary scope, and time travel as operational programs that have existed existed since the early 1900s in secret operational systems reveal that space travel is real so these are things that i was discovering from him while remote viewing him people are born remembering past lifetimes as ETs, ETs are extraterrestrials, 
from other worlds have active psionic abilities which can connect to holographic interface systems and communicate with worldwide governmental governance operatives. Those are humans who monitor and use this technology to track and draft gifted individuals into operational services of psionic programs. The Black Operations Groups has collected psionics from third world countries and drafted them into service in their operations. So whatever governments, governance or governmental governance systems there are, there's operations that are aware of this and are monitoring this and what's going on. So that's interesting. These gifted people are the ET human hybrids living on Earth with people that are born with only Earth soul first experiences. They are yet to tap into the psionic capacity frequencies to activate telepathic merge sequences to interact with the holographic interface systems. So all of us have different degrees of ability, how activated they are and not so activated. I guess based on our past lives, whether it's just mostly human past lives or human ET, galactic souls coming here, coming back, but we've been extraterrestrials in galactic past lives, I guess that has something to do with the amount of ability we may have and how our, how our, our, how our abilities are connecting to holographic interface systems, talking to these people, talking to people in governance, governmental projects, like some of these people seem to be telepathic because this man has telepathy. He was sitting in an echo chamber with a time shifting device, a sphere that can look into time itself, that can see future events and show this man different realities of existence. So he has some abilities. He is not just normal. He has ability. And obviously he's seen me and I've seen him. Although many people have told me that they've never seen this person in person. Yet I have awareness that this individual has interacted with people through internet exchanges, emails, like secure, secure communications. He's very prolific communicating to people and disclosing what people need to know and disclose to the public. So he's a behind the scenes face of disclosure, even though people haven't physically seen him. I've seen him. So I'm putting out his sketch renders. I know this man is real. I've interacted with him telepathically through whatever holographic interface system he's using. And he's interacted with me this way as well. Hence, he popped up in the remote viewing. And I've had an experience seeing him elsewhere as well. Earth has many different dimensions and realms where beings from the cosmic stars visit the planet through the extended physical portal travel stargates. Revealing the truth about everyone's galactic origins will be the first steps of true disclosure on Earth. Souls come to reincarnate in human bodies living on Earth but not all these souls are of human frequency. Many of them are cosmic travelers from other worlds. This hidden knowledge needs to be brought into humanity's open scope of knowing. ETs, extraterrestrials, are you walking in humanoid bodies without even knowing it. So some of us have had galactic lifetimes elsewhere, not on Earth. And we come from the stars, hands, star seeds, star travelers, wanderers, walk-ins. They're all part of this circle, expanded circle. Time travelers. They are cosmic beings from the future, going back into the past, which is our present, and they're us. Here to shift the timelines for positive outcomes instead of negative ones, trying to change things to have a better world in the present and in the future. This individual, this man knows about this. 
He knows about some of these life purposes and missions that we have. He's well aware of it. I've seen it in his peripheral thought consciousness. He is aware of many things happening on earth and off world. He knows a lot about people's souls and how creation works, how life and death works. This person is very knowledgeable. This is why he is like a mediator, a spiritual leader, a businessman. He knows a lot about business. He knows how to walk a dualistic life path. And he has two identities. One as a normal person in reality, human 3D matrix reality. And another identity as somebody who mediates and negotiates for different factions, human factions, groups, and extraterrestrials behind the scenes in the, in the closed door departments of what various operations do that we need to know in disclosure, apparently. So he walks in two worlds and he's interconnected in these worlds. He knows a lot. And so real truth and various soul revelations will fully activate the human freedoms and psychic abilities of those living on earth at this time frame. So when full revelations come out, it will activate human freedoms and psychic abilities of those living on earth at this time frame. Reveal the truth and various soul, re soul revelations will happen as a result. So that's part of disclosure according to him and what I've seen by remote viewing him and just trying to find out a little bit more about him, who he is, what he does, what's his purpose. And just understanding what am I connecting to through these holographic interface systems? Because that's a real technology connecting to people in loving time space, in lucid dreaming, and in dreaming states themselves, or through remote viewing. Because when you're remote viewing somebody, if you're extremely telepathic, you can actually connect to that person and talk to them, either on a conscious level, subconsciously, or either also to the, to the essence of that person's soul, soul being their higher self too. Some remote viewers can really tap into those extrasensory outlets to talk to those they're remote viewing because they're extremely psychic, intuitive. So I was kind of, I guess, mind talking, doing mind-to-mind -mind communication with this man, this individual, and remote viewing him at the same time to get as much information as I could about him and who he is. And he's a really interesting individual, so this is why I kind of wanted to know more about him and what the heck he's doing and why he keeps popping up in various projects and things that I'm looking into. Because he's part of Disclosure. He's the man behind the change. And a change that seems to be happening now, right now behind the scenes and some things coming forward. Because of him, more things coming forward. As he knows people who are disclosing. He knows whistleblowers. He's giving them information to disclose. That's the biggest sense I got from him. That he's doing this work to try to bring peace. And try to bring a change to humanity. Something better than what we have right now. Of truth. Of getting the major truths out there. So that's what I got from this person, and it was interesting. Thank you so much.